professor because I ain't explaining nothing. The Bible is explaining everything. I ain't saying nothing. I'm just reading you what the pastors in these damn churches ain't taught our people. What your mothers and fathers couldn't teach you, I'm showing you it's in the word of God. This is the reason we come out here on the streets to teach our people because nobody else is trying to help us rise above the condition that we're in. You want to catch a damn bus the rest of your life? No. Do you want to rule the world, D? Do you want to be a judge of the world like the Bible just said? What about you, Tamika? You want to ride the bus forever? Do you want to work for these people that enslaved your own people forever? Do you want to work for them? What about rulership? Do you want to rule? Guess what? You're going to have to line up with this Bible, fall in line under the black man who is going to rule this earth again in righteousness. Your name, DeAndre. You don't smoke weed. I mean, you don't smoke cigarettes like Will does, D. But you smoke weed, right? Weed, does it cause cancer? No? It's a plant, right? I got a question. What do you smoke your weed out of? What do you smoke it out of? A what? A gar. A cigar. So, when you look on the pack, the cigar pack that you got, the, what do you smoke? Phillies, Swisher Sweets? Which one? Swishers, you smoke swishers. So when you look on the swisher sweet pack, does it have the same uh, warning signs as the cigarette pack? Bring it out, bring it out. Yes, it does. It causes cancer if you smoke the tobacco that's in the cigar, right? But you don't smoke the tobacco that's in the cigar, right? You empty that out, right? And then you just use the leaf. Do you know what a carcinogen is? Bring it out. All right. A carcinogen. Somebody look up the word. Somebody look it up. Carcinogen. So, I'm going to show you something, D. Even though you don't smoke the same cigarettes that Will smokes, you're getting the same uh, 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 disease, the same elements that are destroying Will are destroying you. When a cigar, when a leaf burns, somebody got it? Read it. Yeah, read that. A carcinogen is a substance, organism, or agent capable of causing cancer. It's capable of what? Causing cancer. Read on. Carcinogens may occur naturally in the environment, such as ultraviolet rays and sunlight and certain viruses, or may be generated by humans, such as automobile exhaust fumes and cigarette smoke. And what? Cigarette smoke. Now, I want to, uh, there's a part I want. Read, hold on, read, uh, read this. I want y'all to listen. Come here, come here, come here. Read. Yeah, right, or maybe, yeah, read that again. Or maybe generated by humans, such as automobile exhaust fumes. So, cigarettes and cigars, when you burn them, they produce carcinogens, the same fumes that are produced when an automobile, from an automobile's exhaust pipe. Would you go to this exhaust pipe, when you crank the car and smoke comes out of the exhaust, would you inhale that, Will? What about you, D? Would you inhale the smoke that comes out of the exhaust pipe of this car? But you are inhaling it. But you are inhaling it in the damn cigarettes and in the damn uh, cigar. Now, when you light that cigar, because you just packed it with your weed, put a little gram in there, boom, 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 you got a little gram in there, you fire it up. Well, as soon as you fire it up, guess what it starts producing? Carcinogens that cause cancer. When a cigar burns, it produces over 3,000 carcinogens. Read that. Cigars contain the same addictive, toxic, and carcinogenic and what? And carcinogenic compounds found in cigarettes. Found in what? In cigarettes. Come and on. are not a safe alternative to them. So it's not a safe alternative to the cigarette. Because you smoke weed too, ain't you? Normally if you smoke weed, I mean if you smoke cigarettes, you smoke weed. Or if you smoke black and mild, you smoke weed. What we're showing you is the weed is not good. I'm going to show you that. Give me that in the uh, Ciroc real quick. Because our people think that, like, why do you smoke weed? You like feeling high. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it makes your day go easier. You know what I'm saying? You start to forget about the ills of society. You know what I mean? 
forget the, 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 the problems in your community and what you may be facing as an individual, you start to forget about all of those things when you smoke weed, right? You're just in that moment because you feel like this is your getaway from the problems that plague your community, right? But I'm going to show you. You try to get away from that because you feel like it, it has relaxed your day. But that's not what's going to fix it. Because once once you get, once the high is gone, what happens? Will, once the high is gone, you forgot all the problems while you was, while you was high, but once the high is gone, what happens? It, the problems, they ain't never went nowhere. So did it solve your problem? No, it did not solve your problem. You got that? Wisdom of Solomon 16? 12, 16, 12. 12. Read. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16, and verse 12. For it was neither herb nor a modifying plaster. Now you may say, what is this book you're reading from? This is the Apocrypha, authorized King James Version, which came out of the original Bible uh, in the 1700s by the Protestant church. They right. took these books out of the Bible. You know why? So that you gods, so that you gods would not remember or find out who you are or how to fix your problems. So the Bible is telling us, neither was it herb that healed us, come on, nor modifying plaster uh -huh. that restored them to health. That ain't what's gonna restore you to health. You're struggling, your health is, is based off of what? Your financial stability, that's a part of your health. Right. Your mental condition is a part of your health. Your overall well-being in society is a part of your health. Because if our people are suffering, you're looking at the condition of your people and they're suffering, right? But guess what? That's your condition too. Right. Is smoking weed gonna help fix the conditions that plague us? Look around you. Is smoking weed gonna help fix that? How can we resolve the issues that plague our community if we're high on the weed all the time? Right. If we're high on the weed, if we're drunk on the alcohol, how can we resolve, as men, we're the men, we're the, we're the men, right? Our condition is based off of how we move in society. If we're moving according to smoking weed, thugging, popping pills, getting drunk, you know what I'm saying, clubbing, if we're moving like that, what's the, what, what is our condition on the earth gonna be? Will it fix it or will it continue to stay the same? Will it? It's going to continue to be the same. D, dialogue with me. It's going to be the same. So the, the Lord is telling us it ain't the herb that's going to heal you, but what? But thy word. But what? But thy word. The word of God is what's going to heal us. Read on. Oh, Lord. Now, why? Why when you cough, when you put the smoke in your body, you start coughing? <laughs> because that ain't supposed to be in there. Have you, huh? You basically killing yourself slow. You are killing the spirit. Read it. First Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? This body right here, this body, is the temple of God. You believe that? What about you, D? Do you believe that your body is the temple of God? Your body, the body, this arm with the legs that you're rubbing. Do you believe it's the temple of God? It is the temple of God. Yeah. How do you know that? Because did you wake yourself up this morning? No. Who woke you up? God woke you up. You know why? Because the spirit of God is within the body. Right. All right? Read it again. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, uh -huh. and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. So inside of this temple is the spirit of God. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. Read that again. If any man defile the temple of God. Now, if you defile the temple of God, how do you defile the temple? How do you defile your temple? I'm going to talk about you. How do you defile your temple? Defile meaning put poison in. How do you poison your temple? Cigarettes. Cigarettes. What else? Alcohol. Alcohol. What else? Oh, yeah. Weed. How about you? How do you poison the temple of God? Weed. What? I ain't edibles. What about pills? You pop pills? You never pop pills? What about uh meth? That's a white boy drug right there. You don't y'all don't do that. Black people, you know, black, black people don't normally mess with meth. You know what I'm saying? But do you drink? Well, watch this. Do you watch porn? Yeah. All the time. You know what I'm saying? Do you do you lust after do you lust after women? All the time. Do you do you hate your brothers? You don't hate your brothers? If, your, if, if, a, if a brother came up to you, come on over here, sis. We talking about cigarettes. You about to smoke on that one. Come on over here. I'm gonna, we're going to show you something about these cigarettes. Come on over here. Now, let me, let me, let me show you something. So, you don't hate your brothers, but 
What if a, if a brother did something ill to you? Would you correct them on it? Or would you find a way to get some get back? Correct. Huh? Correct. You would correct them? What about you, D? Come on, sis. This is a family affair. This is a family affair. Come on over here. What about you, D? Do you gang bang? You got family that gang bang? You ain't got no cousins that gang bang in Columbia. They sell nine, sell four. They deuces, they trays, they blood, they, they damu. Come on now, tell the truth. Huh? Your brother gang bang. Now, let's just use that for an example, Will. In the gang banging community, if somebody shot one of your cousins, homeboys down, what would they do? They're going to go back and do what? They're going to retaliate. But guess what that's called in the Bible? That's called hatred and murder. Even if you, if you, if you, if you hate this brother, if you look at this brother and you have some type of art with him, that's considered hatred in the Bible if y'all can't fix it. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. So I'm bringing, I'm bringing all these, all of this together to show you the point. Read that in uh, First Corinthians again. Read. Know ye not the other, that ye are the temple of God. Brother, you make that too puffing on your cigarette. You are the temple of God. Sister with the black and mouth, you are the temple of God. We got D, we got Will. Y'all are the temple of God because y'all are God's chosen people. Nobody else was chosen except for y'all. God chose you. He didn't choose nobody else on the earth. He chose you black people. You Hispanic people and Native American people. He chose you. You are the temple of God. Read. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. The spirit of God. The spirit, a peace of God dwells in you. The spirit of God dwells in you. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. If you defile this temple that God dwells in by smoking, drinking, watching porn because it's mental, hatred, murder, Stealing, if you defile this temple that God gave you, come on, him shall God destroy. God will destroy you. Why? Right. How? How will God destroy you? Cancer. Right. Most people that smoke for 10, 15 right. years, sometimes it ain't got to be that long. Right. What happens to their throat? What happens? Sister, right here. What's your name? Tamika. Have you seen, D? I'm talking to you too. You ever seen these people that smoke for so long? Why you think they talk like that? Because they've been smoking for too long. But guess what? Does that mean that they can't happen to you right now today? You only been smoking for about what? 12 years? It don't matter how long. You can take a smoke, you can take a drag off of your cigarette today and be tired like that right in a bar. Because the temple that you're, the, the body that you have, that's God's. That's God's. Right. Give me that in Psalms 82 Because I, I see something in you D I'm going to show you sister You are the princess of the earth right. Brothers You are the gods of the earth right. You can't defile your temple You got to remember that you are God right. Not a gangbanger You got to remember that you are God Sister you got to remember you are a princess Start carrying yourself like one Dress like one Put the cigarettes and the weed and the, the, in, in, in the black and mild down I'm going to show you this Huh? You can put it down? You say you can't put it down? Can't. You can't put it down. I'm going to show you why. This is, this is why you should put it down. I'm going to listen to you, sis. But this is why you should put it down, bro. Listen. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are God. The Most High God is talking to the black man. He said, I have said, you are a God. Read. And all of you are children of the Most High. You're children of the Most High God. Your Father in Heaven is the big God. You are the little God. You're the God on the earth. He's the God of the heavens. Read. But ye shall die like men, 
Why we gotta die like men? Because now we have we have we have reduced ourselves to the level of regular men. You're not a regular man, Will. D, you're not a regular man. You you are irregular. There's no other man that could survive this right here. Bring it up. No other nation could survive this. D, you see this right here, D? You said slavery didn't happen. But look at this picture. Did this happen to your people? Huh? Actually, yeah, our people was like that. Yeah, our people were slaves. So this happened to your people. Remember what I said earlier. You can't forget that the ills of our community are the ills, are your ills as well. I'll get to that. The ills of the community are your ills, Will. D, Tamika, these are your ills. The condition that you see your people in, it's a part of your condition too. How do you fix that? Do you care to fix that? Okay, yeah, now, now you're cooking with grease, sis. I'm going to tell you something. We have not been taught, like, y'all, you wasn't taught slavery in school, was you? No. no? I, I, what about you, D? Was you taught slavery in school? Will, did you learn slavery in school? No. They didn't teach us that, but I guarantee you, you learned about George Washington. You learned about Abraham Lincoln. You learned about their people, right? But what about your own people? You ain't learned nothing. You learned nothing about your people. This is the plot. This is the plan, so that you never come back to this. Read it again. I have said, ye are God. This is why they didn't want a slave to read the Bible. What the Bible say? I have said, ye are God. You are gods. Read. And all of you are children of the Most High. You're children of the Most High God. Only you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Nobody else. This only belongs to you. Read. But ye shall die like men. Come on. And fall like one of the princes. Read. Arise, O oh God. What did God tell the little gods? Arise, O oh God. Uh -huh. Judge the earth. He said, you got to judge the earth. How you going to judge the earth if you're a weed smoker? How you going to judge the earth if you're a tobacco smoker and an alcoholic? Can you judge the earth? Somebody is hiding this information and has hid this information from you, from you for hundreds of years so that you never rise above the condition that you see. What? You will never rise above the condition we see at the bus stop. We think this is how life is supposed to be for us. But think about this, D. Think about this, Tamika. Is this the end? Is this, is, is this our full life? Is this the limitation of our life on earth? What is there for us on this earth if this is how we got to live? If this is how we're supposed to live, what is the purpose of living? Bring it out. Tell me that. You are born here a slave and you die here a slave. What, what was the purpose on earth? What was your purpose? Do you have a purpose? Do you have a purpose, D? Huh? What is your purpose on earth? Give me that in uh, Do to Your Man song. Give me that. What is, your, what is your purpose, Will? On this earth, what is your purpose? What you explain. Okay, he said what I'm explaining. That's a smart answer, because I ain't explaining nothing. The Bible is explaining everything. I ain't saying nothing. I'm just reading you what the pastors in these damn churches ain't taught our people. What your mothers and fathers couldn't teach you, I'm showing you it's in the Word of God. This is the reason we come out here on the streets to teach our people, because nobody else is trying to help us rise above the condition that we're in. You want to catch a damn bus the rest of your life? No. Do you want to rule the world, D? Do you want to be a judge of the world like the Bible just said? What about you, Tamika? You want to ride the bus forever? Do you want to work for these people that enslaved your own people forever? Do you want to work for them? What about rulership? Do you want to rule? Guess what? You're going to have to line up with this Bible, fall in line under the black man who is going to rule this earth again in righteousness. Now I'm going to show you something. Read what you got. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. This is why you were born, D. This is why you were born, Will, Tamika. This is why you were born. Read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. You got to fear God. If you fear God, you know what you will do today? You know what you will do over time? Let me ask you that, dude. Because we started this conversation based off of smoking. If you fear God, do you fear God? Do you fear God, D? Think about it. Do you fear God? You guess? And ain't nothing wrong with saying, I don't really know if I don't fear God. What about you, Tamika? Do you fear God? You don't feel like you should have to fear God? What about you, Will? No? Do you fear God? 
Hold that. Now I want to show you what, what kind of fear we're talking about. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12 real quick. Because remember, hold this point in your mind. I'm talking about your purpose on the earth. That's what I'm talking about. What is your purpose on this earth? All right, read. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what did the Lord thy God require of thee? Tamika, thee will. God requires something of you. That's why you woke up this morning. You think it's by coincidence you standing over here listening to the Bible? No, God put your feet right here today. He put your feet right here today. Read on. This is this is what God is saying. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. He says to fear God. Come on. To walk in all his ways. To fear God just means to walk after the ways of God. Because when you walk contrary to God, then you're going to get a judgment. When you walk with God, then you're all right. But when you walk without God, you are not all right. You're walking according to man. Read on. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Uh -huh. To keep the commandments of the Lord. As you walk away, D, I want you to listen. To fear God means to keep his commandments. That's all it means to fear God. To fear God means to keep his commandments. Now go back to, uh, go back to that. What I want to have you hold it. I need you to hold stuff. You know my mind ain't my mind. Go back to Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Because the purpose for waking up this morning and your purpose on earth is to keep God's commandments. But how can you keep the commandments if you never knew the commandments? Like you're not supposed to smoke well in Tamika. Your enemies who did this to your people, who oppressed your people, they created that avenue for you to smoke. The, the idea is for you to stay asleep, never wake up to who you are. Come on, read. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So after all your years on the earth, after all your time spent here on the earth, this is the conclusion of all your days on the earth. Read. Fear God. Fear God means to do what? And keep his commandments. To fear God, Tamika, will, means go. to keep his commandments. You got that flyer, right? Tamika, you got a flyer too. Here's what you got to do. Open your King James Bible and start learning how to fear God. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. We should not be breaking the Lord's Sabbath day. All right? We should not be buying, selling, cooking, cleaning. None of this. Nobody taught us growing, taught us this growing up. Read that again. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. The conclusion of the whole matter is what? Fear God. To fear God and keep his commandments. Come on. For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of of you being on the earth you came here to keep the commandments of god what? why because we broke the commandments of god now we're in captivity in slavery in america right that's why we're here what is the nation nation is family nation is community nation is men leading by example Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is